Hello there, this is FabBinaryOptions.com and under our Binary Options Academy project we're going to discuss a thing that is uh, not often mentioned. We are talking about the advantages and disadvantages of trading with oscillators and um, we have one or two other projects here on our Binary Options Academy regarding that but nevertheless I would like to insist on, um, on the um, on the oscillators part. Now what it is an oscillator? First of all, how it is to be applied? You need to find or you need to start from a currency pair. You choose a currency pair or whatever the financial product you trade, but if it is a currency pair, then you choose a currency pair and you open a chart on your screen. How do you open a chart? Let's say it's Canadian dollar and Japanese yen. Right click, you go chart window and the window will appear. And in the end you will, you will uh, see some candles in here. Now if you want to do an analysis, an analysis can be made either a fundamental one or a technical one. If it comes to technical analysis, the favorite way to look at the market is either through a trend indicator or through an oscillator. So if you go on the MetaTrader on insert, then we go indicators, trend and under the trend you have some of the trend indicators under the custom here you have much more or many more anyways you can import custom indicators whatever the indicator is you can import it to the MetaTrader but that's another story and under the oscillators you have here the most famous oscillators of them all um, the most not famous, the most common ones, the ones that I use. What's the advantage of an oscillator? Well, the advantage of an oscillator, if you go on the relative strength index and whatever the oscillator is, that it takes into account a period. Take a look here. So if you project this RSI with the period 14, which is the default setting, if you go like this, then the RSI is appearing with uh, this kind of a line. But this line that you have here on the RSI is actually or each and every point, let's go on the data window here so assuming this green candle here, now this green candle or at that very moment, by the moment that the green candle ends at 1.13369 the corresponding relative strength index the value is 73.68 what does it mean? it means that it is based as you can see the RSI 14 so it is based on the previous 14 candles if you are having the um, oscillator applied on the daily chart it means the previous 14 trading days if it is applied on the weekly chart it means the previous 14 weeks and so on and so on. So that is, uh, that is extremely important. This is an advantage because when you look at an oscillator and price people are looking for uh, how to put it, for fake moves, for divergences, I don't know, for market to make a high or a new high and the oscillator not to confirm the, the new high. But these divergences or the one that should be trusted is the oscillator and not the price solely for the fact that it is taken into account 14 periods or more. You can you can edit it. Let's say we can go with um, indicators list. We have the relative strength index added, and we can say not 14. Let's say I don't know uh, 50, and we click. As you can see, it is more smoothed. The the RSI here is more smoothed. You rarely have now overbought and oversold levels like the 70 and the 30. So uh, market mainly stays in the 70 and the, and the 30, as you can see here. Now this is an advantage of the oscillator in the sense that you are looking for divergences and always stick with the oscillator. What's the disadvantage? Let's go back to the 14. So indicators list RSI edit and we go with the 14 and we'll put it in here what falls into the category of these advantages when trading with oscillators well this will come on the second part so stay tuned on our second part on our projects here on fairbinaryoptions.com under the binary options academy